today's topic, a lot of people ain't gonna like. When you borrow money from somebody, pay them back. Now, I'm gonna put myself on blast, because I'm guilty of that as well. So the cop on the passenger side says to me, oh, you got a license for that thing? I go, I don't need a license. And this is not considered a motorized vehicle under the law. Go back up Mike, taking up collection to get his garage going. Let's help the guy out. Wear your helmet, man. I seen you guys, I saw the recent video. Guys still not riding helmets. We lost Daryl last year, may he rest in peace. How you doing then, pets? This is Richard Ramos reporting to you live from the Boogie Down Bronx in my homestead for Frantic TV. For the Uncle Richie show. So today's topic, a lot of people ain't gonna like. Um, but I was approached by a couple of individuals asking me if I can help through my show. I said, I'm not really comfortable with that topic, but I'll see what I can do. Topic is, when you borrow money from somebody, pay them back. That's the topic. When you buy a bike from somebody, pay them back before you go spending money on mods and trips out of town. That's not cool. Pay the person you, you owe first, right? Now, I'm going to put myself on blast because I'm guilty of that as well. Recently, a couple of months ago, I was at my friend's Tyho's house in Maryland, e-biker Maryland, and I was checking out his server. I was like, you got this bike here that you don't use. Let me buy it off for you. You know? He goes, yo, you want the Sauron? I go, yeah. You know, everybody, that's the move now, right? Everybody with a Sauron. And um, I rode it a few times before that, and I like the suspension on it. So Taiho being the way he is, eh, go ahead, take the bike. But I noticed that he was a little reluctant. And I also noticed that every time I rode the bike, he, oh, you know, Richie, I, you know, th this cost me this, this cost me that. So I know I was bothering him. Uh... He has like $9,000 in the bike, including the price of the bike. And at the time, I didn't realize it, but I really lowballed him the money that I offered. But to add insult to injury, I didn't even have the money at the time. I told him, let's do a payment plan, and at the end of the year, I pay the balance. And uh, Taiho being the way he is, he agreed. It wasn't until a couple of weeks ago I got stopped. I didn't get stopped. I pulled up to a cop near my house. I was three blocks away from my house. So the cop on the passenger side says to me, oh, you got a license for that thing? I go, I don't need a license. It's an e-bike, class two e-bike. Let me holler at you for a minute. They're like, what? And then they go holding up traffic, left a police car parked in the third lane. I was in the bus lane. And um, he asked me for my license, registration, whatever. I said, this bike doesn't have to be registered in the state of New York. You can check with Albany. I already tried in, in the Department of Motor Vehicles here in the Bronx. And this is not considered a motorized vehicle under the law. Under the current law. I did show him that I had um, insurance for it because I did take out a motorcycle insurance on it. And that was it. I have this for my own personal gain. You know, in case something happens, I get into a wreck person that hit me doesn't have insurance I'm still covered medically and also the bike is covered the price of the bike original price not without mods or anything so he was giving me a hard time oh let me see your license anyway no I don't have to show you my license you know I know I know my rights am I being charged with a crime he goes no then am I free to go he goes no so you're unlawfully detaining me and um when his partner heard how I was answering his partner, he told him, the first the officer behind the wheel said, yo, leave him alone, let's go, we gotta go. But he was cocky. And it's all, I always say, it's always your own people because this guy was Latino like me. I was like, it's always your own people. I said, no, my brother, I, I'm in uniform, bro. I'm a city worker like you. I'm a civil service worker like you. Why are you giving me, you know, I'm not breaking the law. I stop at a red light. I'm using my turn signal. I'm not speeding. I'm not riding reckless. What's your problem? You know, so then his partner again said, look, let's go. We got to go. So the, the light turned green for the second time and I took off. I thought he was going to chase me, but his partner didn't chase me. Anyway, 
the thing about this story is that I got I lost interest as a sermon right there and then and I decided to take the bike back to Maryland and give it back to Taiho now Taiho thought I was there to to, to do a, a revised uh, harness for the cricket uh, controller that he put on the bike but when he saw that I was leaving and not taking the bike with me he goes what's going on Richie I said no I'm not being a true friend taking your generosity for my gain I'm not a friend if I do that I know you invested with the price of the bike at least nine G's on this bike and the offer that I made you is a slap in the face and the fact that I didn't have the money to give it to you right there and then it's another I never done negotiations like that so I decided to give him back the bike it's the right thing to do if I'm a true friend I call him my brother then that's the right thing to do simple so people you borrow money from people pay them back you get a bike from a person no payments yet you got the bike for X amount of time not one payment yet you buying mods and 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 taking trips out of town that's not cool man do the right thing you can't afford it give the bike back you know that's my opinion I don't know how you and pets feel about that but that's how I feel um, the fact that people come up to me can you help me out put something there's no reason why anybody should be coming up to me for that or for anything else at the end of the day I'm a writer like everybody else I enjoy doing the show for Frantic TV to help out my fellow Latino. You know, I don't get paid for this. I don't look for nothing in return. When you don't, when you don't expect nothing, and you don't get it, you don't get disappointed. Because I don't expect it, nothing out of this. Um, it's my f way of helping the community one way or the other. You're not always gonna touch on topics that everybody agrees on or this. If anybody got a problem with this topic, then that's the person that doing what I'm saying they're doing it right now you don't anybody you don't owe anybody money you don't owe anybody a bike then you shouldn't have a problem with this topic and I don't have to mention names those of you that's done this or is doing this know who you are okay I'm not gonna put nobody on blast but if you got some kind of conscience do the right thing man take care of your debts before you go splurging on something else okay that's it um oh Taiho decided that he felt bad that I took the bike back and Taiho being the way he is he goes oh I got a Talaria here triple X that I don't use all right I don't use it at all as a matter of fact I think I was the only one that rode it when he got it back from powerful lithium um, I really don't like that bike, <laughs> but um, the price is right. He gave a price. I said, oh, that's perfect. You know, I could pay that in one shot. All right. And it's good to have a second bike. I don't have to lug my 200 pound Onyx in and out of this small apartment. So, so I told him, okay, let me get the funds together. And when I got the funds, I'll give it to you. And then I'll pick up the bike. No, no, you could pick up the bike whenever you, as soon as you want. Go, no, 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 no. Let me get the funds first. And once I got the funds, I go. I give you the funds. You give me the bike. Everything is Gucci. I don't owe you nothing. You don't have to chase me down. That's the way it should be. If you can't afford to get a bike at that point in time, then don't get it. Then that means you don't need it. You can't afford it, don't get it. Simple. Simple. I made the mistake of doing that with his Suron. I wanted it so bad. You know, I'm trying to negotiate with the guy. And uh, I got the best, <laughs> I let the best of me get to me. Like, I wasn't thinking about that. The man got bills too. He got a mortgage to pay. He got, you know, he's not out here to uh, give anything free to everybody. The same thing, same thing with the two individuals that came up to me. They got bills to pay. And it's not cool when somebody tell, gives them a date. Here, you're going to get this. And the date comes and goes and nothing. They make phone call, phone calls off, go straight to voicemail. Not cool, man. So I told those two individuals, my Frantic One truck is known as a recovery truck, right? I'll make it into a, 
uh, <laughs> what is that? A repo truck. Let me know. I'll go and pick up your shit. <laughs> you know, but um, so do the right thing, folks. You don't need anybody going behind your back and talking smack about you and this guy's no good, that person's no good. Do the right thing. You can't afford it. Give back the the the, the item, whether it's a bike. Give back, you know, pay back your, the the loan, whatever monies. Um, you get work done to your bike, and you, not even a thank you. Come on, man. We're a community. We're supposed to help each other out. At the end of the day. Um, on a different note, back up, Mike. Taking up collection to get his garage going. Let's help the guy out. You know. Ten dollars. Hey, well, all the people that we have donate ten bucks. You know, it's not going to kill you. You know. I could spend eighteen dollars on a pack of cigarettes. No reason why I can't give the man some money. Okay. So with that being said. It's a beautiful day. Sunny in the 90s, so wear your helmet, man. I seen you guys. I saw the recent video. Guys still not riding helmets. We lost Daryl last year. May he rest in peace. Louie, that I nicknamed Crash This Dummy, which I feel so bad about. Laying up on some nursing home somewhere in Jersey. Already forgotten. You guys don't get it through your head, man. Riding these 50, 60 mile an hour bikes and not wearing a helmet. As an ex EMT for eight years, I see melon cracked in half just 10 miles an hour. And you could be riding chilling, chilling 20, 30 miles an hour. It's the guy that's going to hit you with the car at 60 miles an hour that's going to crack your head in half. All right, so. I know I sound like a broken record and oh, this guy is, this guy is obnoxious. But I won't say anything if I didn't care. And I do care. So keep it between the ditches, wear your helmet, and never leave no one behind. With that being said, this is Uncle Richie for the Uncle Richie Show for Frantic TV. Later, bitches. Uno.